Just a small update of what's going on since I haven't been uh, active on my my YouTube channel. Uh, Syra recordings went really well. We were in Riba, Denmark, at uh, Hansen Studios uh, with producer Jacob Hansen and uh, his co-producer Mr. Jonas Hagensen. So the the album the recordings are almost done. Uh, they went really well. The album is kind of kick-ass. You know, would you expect me to say anything else? But in general, it uh, it has more. You know, I guess we've announced that it's uh, it's a bit more reef oriented a little bit uh, faster up tempo songs. Also, a few slower ones. But in general, it's uh, it's more more reef oriented and. Uh, a lot of those uh, twin guitar harmonies uh, that Jesper especially is known for, you know, and he and myself, you know, like a lot of Thin, thin Lizzy, uh, Iron Man and stuff, so uh, we have a lot of those those in there, you know, what Karma had on the first album, but uh, now there's several songs that have those kind of cool, cool melodies, some were written by me, some by Jesper, and uh, but yeah, the album is, is more band album, I would say, because the first album was made, uh, the songs were made by, by Jake and Jesper, and it was pretty much set up already in the demo stages, whereas now we came up with a lot of ideas in the studio, because the songs weren't that set up or locked uh, in before we, we went there, so we missed some parts, and we actually wrote a completely new song there together, I worked with Jake, which turned out to be really good. Maybe it's our paranoid because it took like 20 minutes to wrote and much less to record <laughs> since it's a three and a half minute, you know, rock and roll song, metal song. But uh, anyway, yeah, just an uh, update. Uh, my solo album was released a few weeks ago. Uh, I will post how to play videos on all of the songs uh, in due time. But actually what I'm doing now, I'm recording guitar solos for the Syra album. I uh, recorded uh, about half of the solos in the studio. <coughs> but uh, since we... <coughs> I mean, uh, our time there was limited. Studio time is expensive. So we decided that uh, uh, I do the rest of the solos here at my home studio. There's one song open. So you can see, I'm gonna play it to you, but it has a great solo. <laughs> I already recorded that. So, uh, so yeah. So, cause, and and I like to record solos and, and noodle, the, you know, by myself, because then you're not, you don't have to worry about clock or producer waiting or expensive studio time. So I'm I'm just like you know noodling here, and when I come up with something cool, I I record that. So that's like the process. So I'm actually, this is the. The last solo of the album, album, and and uh, I'm using uh, my my signature ESP with uh, EMG 57 and 66 pickup, 66 pickups. Uh, I recently changed these uh, to replace my EMG 81 and 85. So some of my on two of my guitars. So uh, so it's it. I really like the the, the there's the punch of uh, 81s, and uh, but there's the vintage like. Uh, Dizziness, sizzliness, or something top end and mid, low mid. That it's it's a little like uh, uglier, more like you know, not so focused because 81 is really like this, but this is like more over the place. So I uh, and, and I, I really like this this pickup, but I also love 81. So on the album, I actually recorded uh, most of the rhythm tracks with. Uh, with uh, 81 pickups and then doubled some 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 things with these 57s uh, and all the solos and melodies I did uh, with the guitar 
the black one that I have in the studio, I guess it's still there, <laughs> or maybe it's in Sweden now, because that's my my Syra rig, my Syra stuff, which is there, so I don't need to travel with them because I don't live in Sweden. So I recorded uh, solos and melodies and, and stuff leads with that, and now I've been doing the leads here with with this guitar, which is basically the same. This used to be the Shining logo, or the Shining logo is still down there, but uh, I put some stickers on it and and stuff. So. Uh, what I've been doing here. So I basically I record a DI signal, I'm using my 11 rack, just uh, I have a JCM 800 with two screamer press it there. <laughs> Nice lead tone, well, it's basically the same tone that I use for rhythm because I don't, you know, have a separate lead tone. I mean, if the tone is great, it works with rhythm and lead. So I only have a small delay there, and that, but that's just for monitoring for me. So what I'm recording is, is just a DI signal to Pro Tools, and then then I, I send the files, the DI signal, the WAV file to Hansen, to Jacob Hansen, to to his studio, and then then when he's mixing, he will he will reamp reamp uh, the signal with uh, a real tube amp and that's how we recorded all of the guitars in the studio I mean we used uh, 5153 for monitoring that was mic so that was all also recorded but we didn't spend that much time dialing the tone just like really you know good basic rhythm tone okay let's do and then we recorded also DI signal and then when Hansen is mixing mixing that we can you know try different amps different combinations because we recorded like I told you on all, all the tracks, all guitars, the DI signals, so then we're not stuck into that particular sound, which we dialed in, which was really good sound, but it was just basically for for us, me and Jesper, to monitor ourselves, so, you know, because it's pretty boring to play with just the DI signal with no distortion. So, basically, same approach here, but uh, what I'm using monitoring is just the uh, 11 rack JCM 800. I've made my own own preset with uh, you know matching cabinet and I guess it's mic with uh, Sennheiser 421 or the computer version of it. <coughs> so so yeah, that's what I'm using and uh, well that's basically it. the signal goes well now it goes to Wawa because uh, I that's all the Wawa. So that's the only thing. Only thing uh, in in between, and then if, if I play solo without a wah, I just you know took the cable out from the wah and put it straight here. So yeah, that's what's been uh, going on, and uh, well, like I told you, I will be posting uh, the how to play videos on my solo album uh, after I'm I'm done with the with the solos to the to the Syra album, and uh, yeah. But stay tuned, check out Cyrus YouTube channel, We there will be all the live streams, what we did in the studio will be there. And, and uh, of course when the album comes out next year, I will be doing how to play videos for, for those, those songs uh, too, from the forthcoming Cyrus album. And those of who you wonder what this is, this is just uh, to prevent extra string noise. I mean, I have this small foam here, what I use live, it, it cuts the, 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 the really high, you know, string, these kind of, but this is, uh, this is what I use, use in, in, uh, in studio, because everything is so audible, so this actually dampens it more, put it here, so there's no those, and when you're playing with a high gain, those can some, sometimes uh, be a little annoying. But you know when you listen to in headphones, probably won't hear that in a mix. But it's just cool too. Yeah. Cool to to have there. And this is a tuner. You know, keep me in tune. So when I'm playing. like this so uh, it's important to be too especially when you record an album okay that was it for now thank you folks and uh, yeah 
subscribe my channel, subscribe subscribe Syra channel, and follow me and Syra on on social media. You know, Syra official Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, mine is Elge official Facebook and Instagram is and Twitter is Elge two hundred and thirty V, which is lightning power because my last name Valo Virta in, in, in English means lightning power. Huh? So that's it for that's uh, yeah. Okay, I have a flu and a little bit fever. But anyway, take care. See you soon. Bye.